wants to be in love with Vodka. Thank you. You're the only person that has wished me a happy birthday on this red carpet. Now, Alexis didn't because we already do no, that. We yeah, already did. Yeah, but nobody's wished me a happy birthday. How rude is that? Like, I flew back from paradise to be here. It was absolutely gorgeous. So, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. 45. You, you, you look, you don't look a day over I'm 25. I'm tired. No, but it's because you've been putting in work. Congratulations. No, because I'm 45. I am tired. I'm, we need to stop making excuses for aging. I am fucking tired. So, you... But, but still, you get up and you make it do what it do. Like, you're an executive producer of this amazing show on Zeus. So I know you were involved in the conversation initially with, with Bobby and with Ray and getting them to get together. So what made you go, oh, we got to find Bobby some love now? Well, I, I brought Roland Ray to Zeus because I thought Ray is hilarious. Oh, um, yeah. And then when they did the conversation, the chemistry was so good that when Bobby decided he wanted to look for love, I was like, why don't we do a dating show? Bobby came up with the idea. Roland Ray signed it on. I knew it would be hilarious. So I went to Miami for two weeks and spent two weeks with them and the amazing cast and it's a lot. It's and you a kept lot. that under wraps too because I saw you in Miami but like we didn't really know what was going on and it was like boom. I think people think I'm just on vacation. I mean look, I took a few months off from my, my podcast because I ended that to build the Jason Lee show. In the midst of that I did an award show. In the midst of that I was executive producing this. In the midst of that I'm writing my second book and just finished my courses. So I'm always working but I haven't been like on camera doing stuff and I don't do the like Instagram rants anymore really because I, I want to talk shit where I get paid. Uh, so, but yeah, this has been an exciting experience and I think people are going to love it. So one of the things I really love too is that you have this way of making magical moments happen. Like I was laughing because I said to you, I was like, you brought Mariah Carey out for the BET Awards did that weekend. Yeah, I, I like that you pointed that out because when I went to the BET Awards, they were like, now next up is Lizzo. I was like, I already did that. They were like, oh, Mariah Carey, I did that too. You know, we literally produced the show from scratch. I paid 548000 of my own dollars as an investment. The reason I dropped the price, it cost me 648, but we had 100000 in sponsorship, was because I feel like once you make enough money, don't wait for studios and people to believe in you. Invest in your own shit. For me, I'm going to always gamble on me because I'm going to always hit. Now, we did that show, we filmed it all, we packaged it, and we just did, we're doing this major deal right now that I, that I will say this, the award show will be televised next year. We've already identified the honorees. We're going to do a big radio deal, big podcast deal. And when I announce who the partner is, it's like, yo, that's, that's amazing to be able to do what we've done from scratch and then arrive there. So the award show is great, and I appreciate you acknowledging that because I think a lot of people, like culture creators, how you have a whole event called Culture Creators, but you don't invite me? You ain't honor me. You ain't invited me. Now you can't compete with me. We killed you in the market. Your own people told you, Culture Creators, Jason Lee killed y'all niggas. Why? Because people pick up my call because at the end of the day, real recognize real. I'm a trusted brand you can believe in. All this other shit, people throwing culture around culture. You ain't creating no culture. You have an event to get money. Great. But when you really believe in culture, when you really believe in what drives culture, there ain't no way you're not paying attention to what I'm doing and not believing that I'm a culture creator. But it's okay. I don't want to go to their award show. You know why? Because I got my own shit. When you don't have a seat at the table, build your own table. Now my table's way bigger than theirs. You know, it's funny. You said all that, and I was thinking about all the things I've gotten to experience with you, like being at your mixers and everything like that. I was like, damn, what can't... Talk, let's even talk about the brunch with Kanye this year. I, that was wild. I didn't get an invite to that one, but I, that was wild, though. But my question is to you, like, damn, like, I was asking myself, what, what can't Jason Lee do? Like... Well, I will say shout out to Revolt. They asked me to speak at the Revolt Summit this year in, in Atlanta. I'm, so I'm doing that, leading the whole cult conversation on culture and cancel culture. So, I mean, people are acknowledging it. I'm going to spend more time investing in those that do. I just shout out culture creators because why not take a dig at somebody when you can? Uh, you know, everybody says when they go low, you go high. No, when, you, when they go low, go to hell. And, and that's why my mantra is going to be what it is. And I know that I'm not digestible for everybody. Everybody don't like me. I wasn't created for everybody to like me. There are brands that want everybody to like them. I'm not one of them. I don't, I I don't, I don't think so. And you, there was a moment that happened off camera just now where that young lady came up and she was just so happy to be in the space. And she was crying like her eyes were rolling up and you were like, just be consistent. You just said, boom, boom, boom. Like These are the things you need to do. Like focus on your vision. And that, I feel like that's what you do. Did you, did you dream this? So you already saw all of this. Not this, but what I will say is that I want to get to a place where we support each other more. It doesn't cost anything to give a good word. It doesn't cost anything to give somebody the skills or a relationship or contact. 
I don't feel like I got to have it all by myself. I do feel as much as I've been a champion for black media, I've had some really difficult conversations with black media recently about how they don't want to support it. You know, unless they're benefiting or looking like they're getting, like I built what I built because I'm focused on my race. So there's nothing wrong with helping other people. And uh, I'm thankful that people like that are inspired by me. And I hope that I continue to be a source of inspiration. But charity starts at home. You really are. Congratulations on everything. Happy birthday. Live up. You look amazing. And I appreciate Easy you. Gap. Kanye. Did you go to the bag to get it, though? Did you dig through the bag? I garbage bag. Shout out to you and his creative vision. This was mailed to me in a nice package box. Nice. Congratulations, Jason. Right. Can't Thank wait to see course. it. All see right. you.